If Joshua tricks them into launching an attack, it'll be your fault. My fault? The whole point was to find a way to practice nuclear war without destroying ourselves. To get the computers to learn from mistakes we couldn't afford to make. Except that I never could get Joshua to learn the most important lesson. What's that? Futility. That there's a time when you should just give up. What kind of a lesson is that? Did you ever play tic-tac-toe? Yeah, of course. But you don't anymore. No. Why? Because it's a boring game. It's always a tie. Exactly. There's no way to win. The game itself is pointless. But back at the war room, they believe you can win a nuclear war. But there can be acceptable losses. So you gave up? Decided to play dead? For security reasons, they graciously arranged my death. Did you know that no land animal with a body weight of over 50 pounds survived that age? Extinction is part of the natural order. Well, shit! If we're extinguished, there's nothing natural about that. It's just stupid. Oh, it's all right. I've planned ahead. We're just three miles from a primary target. A millisecond of brilliant light, and we're vaporized. Much more fortunate than the millions who wander sightless through the smoldering aftermath. We'll be spared the horror of survival. I'm only 17 years old. I'm not ready to die yet. You won't make a simple phone call? If the real Joshua was still alive, you're Joshua. You'd do it, wouldn't you? Look, we might gain a few years, perhaps time enough for you to have a son and watch him die. But humanity, planning its own destruction, that a phone call won't stop. This is unreal. You don't care about death because you're already dead.